Okay, let's have situation 6. A water tank is in a form of a right circular cone of diameter of 3.66 meters and height, height of 3.66 meters depth. It is surmounted with a right circular cylinder of the same diameter and having the same height of 3.66 meters. So, parang ganito siya. May cone, then meron tayong cylinder surmounted nasa taas. There is an orifice at the vertex of the cone. Merong orifice dito. Okay? The, the area of the orifice is given. Uh, initially, the tank is full. Full of water. Assume coefficient of discharge of 0 0.6. Evaluate the uh, following after the orifice is open. So, 3.66 meters yung diameter. Yung height ng cone natin is 3.66. The same then sa height ng... Um, cylinder surmounted 3.66 meters the orifice uh, area of orifice is 0 0.0929 square meters so uh, may flow dito pag open ng orifice may flow dito so determine the time to empty the cylindrical part of the tank cylindrical part so bale yung part to from here from that water level to this part Time to empty that portion. So, my formula tayo dito derived. Let's say that's point 0.1, point 0.2. From point 0.1 to point 0.2 of this uh, water level. The formula derived is ito. This is for uniform AS. Yung AS natin is the area of the water, uh, water surface. Or area of the liquid surface generally. What is our H1 and H2? So, ito yung H1 natin. Dalawang 3.66. Yung H2, uh, dito. Kasi, uh, uh, gusto lang natin ubusin yung tubig sa loob ng ating cylinder. Without uh, excluding pa the part of the code. So, that one is 3.66. Ito, given yan eh. So, substituting the time to empty from point 0.1 to point 0.2. 2 AS... Again, the AS is ito. Area ng water surface. So, uniform kasi yan. Dito up to section 2. The same area. Kaya that formula is applicable. AS is area of circle with given diameter. Yung C dito is the coefficient of discharge. AO, given yan. Area of orifice. G is gravitational acceleration. H1 is 7.32 and H2 is 3.66. You have here 67.535 seconds. So that is uh, letter B. Okay, actually, yung derived formula dito, that derived formula nang galing dito. The change in um, discharge, DQ, is equal to the change in volume over the change in time. dv over dt. My formula tayo sa discharge in an orifice it is given by that one. Na open surface. A C, coefficient of discharge, area orifice. That one is actually the velocity. That is the theoretical velocity square root of 2gh. Yung time yung inahanap. Kung i-rearrange kasi natin yan, that becomes dv over dq. Okay? So, yung dv, the dv is equals to as, a constant kasi yung as natin dito, times dh, differential height. While yung q natin can be written at that, as that one. Now, para ma-eliminate natin yung uh, differential strip, Ito yung AS natin at any height. At any height H. Then that formula is integrated. Integrate natin. Integral for both sides. So that, that becomes from H2 to H1. Ganon ang mangyari. So substitute natin. H2 is uh, from 0 0.2. 3.66 yung height natin dyan. Then H1 is 7.32 to that height. Yung AS is constant, pi over 4 times diameter squared. Ah, ganun pa rin, no? C.6 
AO.0929 2G May H dito H variable Then um, Evaluate using calculator You have 67.535 seconds Kayang-kaya yan sa calculator natin Pagkita natin So Just use integral Integral Of AS AS is 0.25 pi Times 3.66 squared By default Yung H natin is X dito sa calculator So 0.6 times 0.0929 Square root of 2 times 9.81 H So from 3.66 until 7.32 was 67.535 the same answer this is the general formula yung previous formula kasi hindi na natin magagamit in calculating the time required for this to be empty kasi yung AS natin is varying varying AS integral talaga yung ating gagamitin oh. Gusto natin dito sa pangatlong tanong The time to empty this one Wala nang tubig dito sa upper tank The time to empty from 2 to 3 So yung gagamitin natin Is yung uh, integral na The same formula But this time yung AS is varying Notice yung area mo dito Area ng water surface is Different with that Different with that And so on and so forth it is a function of H or in terms of H. So, yung AS, uh, yung diameter dyan, tawagin ko siyang small d. Para ma-in terms natin yung 2H, just use proportion. By ratio and proportion, I have D over H is equals to diameter dito, 3.66 over 3.66. Or yung diameter natin dito at any height from the orifice is equals to H. Cross multiply kasi 1 yan. Equals to 1. So yung AS natin is pi over 4 diameter squared. And D is H. Pi over 4 H squared. So ito yung ipa-plug in natin dito. And yung nasa denominator, the same lang kanina. Of course, magbabago yung ating um, limits from 0 until 3.66. Okay? So, ito ngayon yung formula natin. Substitute. So, again, our AS in terms of H. Pi over 4, H squared. Just copy that one. The same lang to kanina. Now, wag mong ilagay dito exactly 0 because it cannot solve. The calculator cannot solve that one directly. Pag mag-zero kasi yan, magiging indeterminate yung denominator. So, lagyan mo lang ng 0 0.0001. Kah kahit tatlong zero lang. Al almost zero na siya. At dito, baga that part. The same answer lang yan. Napakalit ng difference. 32.61 seconds. Okay? Second question pala to. Dito pa nga itong tatap. Kita natin sa calculator. So, yung papalitan mo lang, of course, yung ating AS. Pi over 4, yung diameter mo naging H na lang. Okay, valuable. Then, the limits is from point zero zero oh, Kahit tatlong zero yung ilagay mo. Point one two three one Then, to 3.66. 3.66 Medyo may katagalan talaga But Of course, mas, mas, agal ta, mas matagal tayong mag Mano-mano dyan uh, 32.61 Bakit from 0 to 3.66 Galing dito Until that point Mauubos yung tubig And pangatlong tanong Is the total time to empty the tank I-add natin yung dalawa Okay, i-add lang natin yung dalawa. So, the total time is ito, from here to here, then plus 32.61. Answer, 100.15 seconds or 100.14.